we're asked to find the general solution to the third order constant coefficient linear homogeneous differential equation. And we'll find the general solution using what we already know about second order equations using the notes below. To begin, analyzing the given differential equation, the corresponding characteristic equation is r cubed plus 2r squared plus 2r equals zero. And now we need to solve or determine the roots. Let's first factor out the greatest common factor of r, which gives us r times the quantity r squared plus 2r plus 2 equals zero. The factor of r gives us one root of r equals zero. However, r squared plus 2r plus 2 doesn't factor, and therefore we'll have to either use the quadratic formula or complete the square to determine the two remaining roots or zeros. We already used the quadratic formula in a previous example, and therefore let's review how to complete the square. We want to determine the roots of r squared plus 2r plus 2 equals zero. First we subtract two on both sides, which gives us r squared plus 2r equals negative two. And now we're going to add the square of half of b, or the square of half of the coefficient of r to both sides of the equation. So again, to complete the square, we add the square of half of b, where b is equal to two, giving us the square of one half times two, which gives us the square of one, which is equal to one. We add one on the left, we add one on the right. And now the left side is a perfect square trinomial. The factors of r squared plus two r plus one are two factors of r plus one, or the square of r plus one equals on the right, negative one. And now we square root both sides of the equation to undo the squaring. Include a plus and minus on the right, so we get both solutions. Here we have r plus one equals, the square of negative one is i, giving us plus or minus i, and then we subtract one on both sides, giving us r equals negative one plus or minus i as the two remaining complex roots. So we have r equals zero or r equals negative one plus or minus i. If the complex solutions are in the form of alpha plus or minus beta i, notice alpha is equal to negative one and beta is equal to one. And now we'll use what we know about second order equations to write the general solution. The general solution is y of x equals, because r equals zero is one distinct root, we have c sub one times e to the power of r times x, which gives us e to the power of zero times x, and then plus, for the two complex solutions, we use the notes for number three, where if the roots are in the form of alpha plus or minus beta i, and we have a second order equation, the general solution is y of x equals c sub one e to the power of alpha x cosine beta x plus c sub two e to the alpha x sine beta x which means in our case, the next term is going to be c sub two e to the power of negative one x or negative x cosine of one x or just x, and then plus c sub three e to the power of negative one x or just negative x sine of one x or just sine x. Simplifying one last time, e to the zero is equal to one, giving us the general solution y of x equals c sub one plus c sub two e to the negative x cosine x plus c sub three e to the negative x sine x. This is the general solution. I hope you found this helpful.